I'm going to talk about the Custom Property Tab Builder, uh, a brief explanation of what the Custom Property Tab Builder is. It's a utility which allows the user to create a customizable interface for entering properties into SOLIDWORKS files. What we see here is the Custom Property Tab Builder interface. On the left hand side we have a choice of boxes that we can put into the central column and on the right hand side we have the control attributes for the box that we've entered into the custom properties column. So first off I'm going to drag and drop one of these text boxes into the central column like so and give it a name. I'm also going to change the custom property attributes and change the name also to part number and this property here will populate at part level for that part's particular property. Another useful box that we can use is a, a list. So if I drag and drop a list into the custom property builder we can specify a list of values. For this particular property I'm going to use drawn by and enter a list of values here for the drawn by property value. The values here will then be available when we use the custom property within the part. And if we hit the drop down here, we'll see we get those added. We can also use checkboxes. I'm going to drag and drop a checkbox into my custom property builder. And I'm going to call this checkbox model checked. And we can also specify the default value for that. So we can have that unchecked as default. And all we need to do within the part would be to check that box to verify that model has been checked. Another useful box that we can add into our custom properties is a radio button. I'm going to drag in this radio button. And we can use the radio button here to specify manufacturing type For this particular instance we're going to have machined and cast we can then specify if that will be machined or cast by selecting either one of these buttons I'm going to put in a, another text box here which is going to drive my material property so I'm going to call it material And I can have the type as text, but I'm going to change the value to SOLIDWORKS material, which means if the material changes at part level, this will automatically populate with that particular material. I'm going to add a final box here, which is going to be a, a list box. And this list box is going to drive my finish of my material. So I'm going to call that finish. and just put some values in the list here. And what I can specify with this particular box is that it will only be visible if a particular selection is made on any previous boxes. For instance, let's say that a finish is only available on a machined manufacture type. So if I go to manufacture type, in the advanced options here, I can select the controls that will only be visible when these options are selected. Machined, finished, like so. I can also specify certain properties to be configuration specific. In the configurations button here, I can either specify to show on the configuration specific tab or to display on the custom tab of the part property. The final thing to do here is to save my property tab. So clicking the save button there will allow me to save in my templates folder and I'm going to save my property tab in this location.
Within a new part, I now have access to my custom properties tab on the right hand side and the template in which I created. And I can put in values into the boxes here and apply them to my part. So I'm going to run through here, filling in some columns. Apply that to the part. If we now have a look at the part properties, you'll now see we have those filled out in the part properties custom tab. The custom property tab builder is a really nice way of adding standardized properties to your parts. Thank you for watching.